cry of tears Sounded like an ocean Raging on for years on the shore the sound of heaven singing singing out the cure cause all of those diseases you know they gotta bend the knee cause the sound of heaven coming is the sound of victory sound of heaven come down sound of heaven all the saints that came before us the sound of all the joy as they sing in chorus the sound of dancing feet as they dance on streets of gold the sound of deepest waters and the wisdom that it holds gonna sing that again the sound of all the saints that came before us the sound of all the joy as they sing in chorus sound of dancing feet as they dance on streets of gold the sound of deepest waters and the wisdom that it holds sound of heaven come down sound of heaven come now sound of heaven come down sound of
of the angels come down. Sound of the angels come down. Sound of the angels come down. Sound of the angels come down. throne room come down I will sing of the mercies of the Lord forever with my mouth will I make known your faithfulness to all generations for I have said mercy shall be built up forever your faithfulness you shall establish in the very heavens and the heavens will praise your wonders, O Lord. Your faithfulness also in the assembly of the saints. For who in the heavens can be compared to the Lord? Who among the sons of the mighty can be likened to the Lord? God is greatly to be feared in the assembly of the saints and to be held in reverence by all those around him. The heavens are yours, the earth also is yours, the world in all its fullness, for you have founded them. Righteousness and justice are the foundation of your throne. Mercy and truth go before your face. Blessed are the people who know the joyful sound. They walk, O Lord, in the light of your countenance. And in your name they rejoice all day long. And in your righteousness they are exalted. That is part of that heaven sound. That sound that comes down here and changes us and changes the atmosphere around us. So Jesus, we're thankful for all that you do. Thank you for your heaven sound coming down to earth to change us. Thank you, God, for the sound of the earth becoming the sound of heaven. God, thank you, God, for bringing that sound in. Lord, we thank you for miracles, signs, wonders, healings, and deliverances. God, we worship you. We give you honor and glory. Let your glory come, O oh Lord. Let your glory come. Let your power resound in this place like never before. Lord, thank you for miracles. Thank you, God. I'm going to share with you something that happened this week that was a miracle, that was powerful. And Lord, help me as I am able to get through. Lord, thank you. Thank you, God. Well, anyway, on um, Friday at... Um, uh, sometime in the afternoon on Friday, I got a text, and it was from Teresa Lightbody. And she said, please put me on the intercessory prayer list. I'm at Cleveland Clinic ER with an infection. Yesterday, I noticed redness and swelling in, in, in an area of my body, and I went to have it checked today with the doctor late this afternoon. And he sent me directly to ER for ultrasound testing and IV antibiotics and told me I would be admitted for the weekend or longer. And, I, and I'm praying and I'm asking you to pray if the, that the antibiotics were, will work or I will need emergency surgery Monday morning. So we put this out to all the intercessors like immediately. 
we put it on our leadership team that we would pray for her because uh, we didn't want her to go into surgery. We didn't know that, you know, the impact and what was exactly all going on. But we knew she, this was an urgent thing. So we all prayed. And um, so I hadn't heard anything. She told me she got one of the Cleveland Clinic's beautiful gowns. And she, you know, she was very excited about that. You know, as you can imagine, she's a nurse. So, you know, for a nurse to have to be put in to, on a gown. Well, anyway, we prayed and we asked God to do a miracle. And on yesterday afternoon, I texted her and I said, how are you doing? And I, suddenly I get a call. Now, usually, you know, if your phone lights up and somebody's been ill, you go, I don't know about you, but I always think like, oh, no, oh, no, right? You don't, you don't want to think, oh, no. But anyway, um, she said, Dawn, I had to talk to you. I could not write all of what I need to write. She said, here's what happened. I went into the hospital, got my beautiful gown, and overnight on Friday night, she said, for some reason or another, when I woke up in the morning, uh, I noticed I have no rash and no swelling, okay? Now, hold on. So what happened is, is she said, um, the nurse comes in and I said to the nurse, I don't have any rash or any swelling. And she goes, oh good, the antibiotics work. Yeah. And, and uh, Teresa said, uh, you never gave me the antibiotics. You never did the IV antibiotics. You, you forgot or whatever. She goes, no, we, we must have. She goes, no, I'm serious. You can go look. The lady looked. She came back in and she goes, you never got that. She goes, you didn't get the antibiotics. She goes, what happened to you? And Teresa says, well, I I'm healed. And she goes, well, I got to tell the doctor about this. <laughs> so she goes and she tells the doctor and the guy goes, how did that happen? She was supposed to have surgery, according to what Teresa told me. She was getting the antibiotics as a preliminary beginning process so that the antibiotics would already work and that on, on Monday then she would have these antibiotic bodies in her already so that she would have the surgery. There was no question the doctor was going to do surgery on Monday morning to remove and release and get rid of the infection and she was healed, and she was on her way home. She called me last night on the way home from the hospital saying, I'm healed. It was a miracle. It was a miracle. God healed Teresa Lightbody, and she got tested negative for COVID in the meantime. Thank you, God, for healing. We got to go back to the words in the beginning. Whatever the words were for the first part about the diseases. Can you do it? Yep. Okay. Let's go. Let's praise the Lord. You and me singing on a hill. Come on. Looking down at that big wind. Heard the sound of laughter, heard the cry of tears. It sounded like an ocean raging on for years. The sound of many waters crashing on the shore. The sound of heaven singing, singing out the cure. Come on! Cause all of those diseases, you know they got to bend the knee. Come on! Cause the sound of heaven coming. It's the sound of victory, the sound of heaven, come down, sound of heaven, come down, sound of heaven, come down, sound of heaven, come now. All right, we have a couple people that heard right now this testimony and that are believing for some people that need to be healed this morning. There's people that are streaming that you would not believe that are agreeing right now. They heard what happened to Teresa and they're believing it for their own families, their friends. And right now we just got a text from um, uh, Rob Cutter, Randy's brother, who is on the way to the uh, 
emergency right now because he has coughing, swelling, and the chills. And many of you in Wisconsin are listening right now. And you're going to, I know you're going to agree in prayer for Rob, even as you just heard the testimony. And Rob, as many of you know, had lymphoma and that he, he was struggling against rebellious cells. And we are going to pray that those rebellious cells are not going to try to come alive again ever and that this fever and chills is going to be gone now in Jesus' name. So in Jesus' name, we lift up Rob and we say, no rebellious cells. You are a cancer-free zone body. And we thank you, God, for healing Rob right now. And we're commanding the fever, the chills, the coughing to go. And when he gets there, he was on his way. When he gets there, just like Teresa, we believe that it's a miracle, a miracle healing this morning for him. Lord, thank you for that miracle healing. And thank you, Lord, for healing Marcy, too. Lord, she is in the hospital on a ventilator. And we command her body to breathe again on its own. We're commanding her O2 level to go high, sky high, that she be healed of COVID or pneumonia, and that she will never have AFib again. We thank you, God, for normal body functions in her body. We tell you, Marcy, take up your Mac, walk, and go home, and be with David your, and your family. Lord, thank you for healing people this morning. Thank you for people grabbing hold of these testimonies because we overcome by the blood and the word of our testimony. And we're grabbing it for our friends and family. Do it right now. Just pray for somebody you know. Let's do it one more time. Let's, one? Yeah, let's do it again. Okay. okay? Let's do it again. We need to praise the Lord. We're going to call down that throwing sound room right now. Here we go. The sound of many waters crashing on the shore. The sound of heaven singing, singing out the cure. Cause all of those diseases, you know they gotta bend the knee. Cause the sound of heaven coming, it's the sound of victory. Yeah, right. Sound of heaven, come down. Yes. Sound of heaven, come down. Sound of heaven, come down. Sound of heaven. Give a big old shout of victory. Yay! Yeah! Yeah! Lord, to you, God, to you be the glory. We are giving you the glory. Come down. Let that sound come down. Thank you, Lord, for the victory. And we say this all in Jesus' name. We say, Amen.